y'all, it's Tolly and welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm in a little bit of a different location slash setup. Behind me, you can see I have shelves and stuff. That is because I'm actually in my craft room, which means today we are going to be doing a hashtag designer DIY with Tolly. In today's video, we are going to be doing a designer DIY with Tolly and we are going to be creating a shabby chic heart vintage pillow. If you're new on my channel, hi, my name is Tolly, and if you're new to Designer DIYs, hi, welcome. Designer DIYs is a series on my channel where I create designer items for less. The story behind this Designer DIY is I was on Instagram and I was loving, looking at my beautiful feed full of Love Shack Fancy, cottage core, vintage, all that good stuff, designer, and then I also love my home decorating, I love decorating, and I stumbled upon the beautiful account Shabby Chic. So if you've never heard of the brand Shabby Chic, it is created by Rachel Ashwell, Shabby Chic. And a little behind this, the brand is they are a source for your beautiful heirloom pieces that combine all the best of modern style and classic farmhouse charm. So since Valentine's Day is solely upon us, I saw they had these beautiful, beautiful heart pillows and I definitely wanted to get one for my bed. I clicked on the link and it took me straight to the link and you will never believe how much these pillows are a whopping $293. So that is when I decided I would go to get my butt to the craft store and we would get some materials to make our very own designer DIY vintage heart shabby chic pillow. Here she is, fully created. She turned out so, so good. I am literally obsessed. This is gonna look so beautiful on my bed. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I am so happy with the outcome. If you haven't already, make sure to follow Follow me on all social medias here in the screen, down in the description below. And if you liked today's video, don't make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because we are so close to 100 subscribers and it means the world to me. We can reach that very, very soon. Well, I keep on yapping, so without further ado, let's get into this designer DIY with Tolly. So for materials, of course, you will be needing a heart pillow. I got this one at Target. These are definitely easy to come by right now since Valentine's Day is coming up. I got mine from Target, but I'm sure you could use any other heart-shaped pillow. Next, you will need white lace. I got about a yard at my local Hobby Lobby. Um, one thing I will emphasize though is make sure that it has kind of the eyelets here, like big enough for a ribbon to go through. Keeping on with the eyelet lace theme, you will need also trim. I got this one here. You also be needing two types of ribbon. So I got this pink ribbon. I actually got elastic so I can use it easily. And then you will also be needing some sort of lace trim which i got this one and i would recommend that it is um kind of straight on both sides like this one not necessarily scalloped and curved like this one and since this is a diy i figured the easiest way to attach everything on would be hot glue you can of course sew this i just i know how to sew i just want this to be easy and i want this to be fast so i'm gonna use hot glue all of the materials will of course be linked in the description um, I found everything exactly that I used besides the lace, so, but I did find an alternative. I actually found one that I think is more similar to the pillow than this one, but I found that one and you guys can use that one. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the tag off the heart pillow. Um, you can leave yours on, but I am going to cut mine off. I don't want mine. So now that the tags are cut off your pillow, you're going to want to start working with the lace. Ooh. That just hit me in the face. So it depends on the kind of lace you have, but this lace that I have is actually kind of what I was looking for in the store or the craft store, I should say. But you're going to want to make sure whatever um, lace you pick has um, big enough eyelets for ribbon to fit through. So this is why I recommend getting elastic. The elastic will be easier to work through the holes. So since my um, lace actually was like cut off with um, the scallop trim, I don't want that. What I actually want from this fabric is just this whole part. So the first step that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut my fabric. I got about a yard, by the way, and I'm just going to cut it here all the way down so that I have the this material, just this material to work with. That's what I really want. I'm not really going to use this scalloped edge per se. I know how I'm talking or like how I'm explaining this part isn't making any sense at all, but slowly and surely it will. So now that my fabric is cut, hopefully this will make a little bit more sense. So this was my fabric before. 
it had it's still all in one piece this is my leftover but i cut it out so that i could get just the parts with the pieces with holes to use as my fabric so as you know the pillow is kind of separated into sections so for visual i took some washi tape just to kind of show you guys what it looks like so these three sections here will all have lace on it and then if you guys remember from the materials we also are using thin lace or skinny lace i guess more like a ribbon and this is going to replace it now that my lace is ready to use i'm going to hot glue each piece into this section also, I suggest being very careful, especially working with hot, if you're using hot glue, because there are holes in this fabric and it, you could essentially burn your fingers. Y'all, this is a lot of gluing. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't even know how many glue sticks I went through, but I finally glued all the lace onto the pillow. It is starting to look so cute and so shabby chic. I hope you guys are kind of starting to see what we're doing. I am now going to start separating my pillow into the three quarters. So here's the pillow and here is just kind of a, what it's gonna look like. The lace is the perfect match. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to do the side pieces first and not the middle. What I'm going to do is simply just following the lines I made from the washi tape, I'm just going to cut around the tape. All right guys, so I have my scissors and I'm just gonna go in from the side and start making my cut. All right guys, here is a visual. You can see that this side is now exposed and this side still has the tape. I'm gonna do the side off camera and then soon after we are going to add the lace on the inside. Guys, this is looking so cute, just wanna say. All right guys, here is the pillow exposed. I took off all the washi tape and I cut out all the um, areas that we're gonna cover up with the trim. Now, the next step, all we're gonna do is glue on the trim. It's gonna be just like how we were gluing on the lace. Um, I'm actually going to do the two side pieces first and then we're going to do the middle and yeah. Ah, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. so we have put the separating lace in the middle and oh my gosh guys this looks so cute and looks exactly like the sh shabby chic one i am obsessed lace pink hearts oh my gosh i just love it all okay so now on to the next step the pillow is looking amazing and now it's time to start adding the pink ribbon make this really look like the shabby chic pillow i need to add the pink ribbon into the loops to, so that it gives it that that show that like it looks like the one in the picture or the one on their website so now we are going to start looping them through the eyelet holes so what i'm doing is through the eyelets i'm placing my tweezers in and then i'm just grabbing sliding the elastic in to grab it and then just pulling it across and simply just kind of weaving it through Now that I have it all laced through, I'm just gonna pull a bit of it so that I can start to make the bunches and the loops. Since this is elastic, it is gonna turn and kind of spin. So just maneuver it with your hands so that you can get the pink. Oh my gosh, guys, can I just say how adorable this is? This adds so much character. To the pillow so i have finished one side um the way i glued it down actually was because some loops i wanted to do and some i didn't i just pushed back the end into the loop and stuck some hot glue in there um i'm not going to be throwing this pillow around or anything so hopefully it should be fine but anyways so this is one side i'm now going to do the other side off camera you guys i finished all the loops and tell me tell me how adorable that is like you can you cannot tell me how cute that is, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm totally obsessed. And now after the loops, we are on to the final step of our DIY shabby chic heart vintage pillow. For our last step of our DIY, we are going to be adding the final lace. I feel like I've said lace and like ribbons and trim so much in this video, but this is the final, final step to the pillow. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our lace trim, also linked in the description below, and we are just going to be gluing it around our heart pillow. This is 
The reason why I left all the excess on the pillow, see here's the back, is because um, whenever I glue this, I want to make sure in case there's um, any problems, I just want to make sure that it's all enough and it's all rounded out and even. Oh my gosh, guys, I finished doing the rim and it looks so good. This looks just like the shabby chic pillow. Okay, now my the last last step now <laughs> is see look how pretty it is from the front. Look at the back. I have to cut off all the excess trim and we will finally be done with this designer DIY shabby chic vintage heart pillow. Guys, I just cut the excess off, off the back, and let me just tell y'all, this turned out so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Can you tell me this is not the cutest pillow ever in the planet in the history? Oh my goodness, I love her. Oh my gosh, guys. This looks exactly like the shabby chic one. I cannot. This is just beautiful and amazing literally have no words right now this turned out so good and i'm obsessed with her i hope you all enjoyed this episode of designer diys make sure if you recreate this eye to tag me on social media or use my hashtag designer diys with tolly i hope you guys liked today's video if you did make sure to like comment and subscribe because we are so close to 100 subscribers and it would mean the world to me if we could reach that very very soon and if you haven't already make sure to follow me on all social medias here on the screen down in the description below. I was really excited to make this design DIY and I hope you guys were too because I think she turned out so, so cute. If you have any questions about this DIY, make sure to comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. I literally love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video and I hope you all have an amazing, wonderful, beautiful day.